Shall we begin? Hey there, boys and girls. Bob Kearns, the unsung photographer, and I know I've been away a while. But, in the meantime, we've had a lot of new subscribers, and I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It's such a good feeling to know that I'm talking to somebody out there, and that you have questions, and you want to interact, and you think that maybe somebody's been doing this for four years might have something to teach you, other than all these other guys that are just telling you. I don't know, the same thing over and over. Okay, today, a surprise thing. This is an iPad Pro. And it's tethered right now to the screen that we're recording. I want to show you this. Bum, 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 bum. Forgive my Twilight Zone music. <gasps> And there she is, the lovely Nikki. And this is Affinity Photo on an iPad Pro. And it's a really nice, very Photoshop-like painting program. But it's different enough that I can't tell you that I'm an expert or good enough at it to give it a fair review yet. The real surprise I have isn't that this exists or that it seems to be a pretty interesting piece of software. It's this. If I go down here, la 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 la, on my Mac, iMac, I also have Affinity Pro installed and it's identical. The controls and all the tools, like if I go, this is the develop module. Uh, there's a difference in size of the tools. Like if I go over here, this is the, the iPad tools are pretty large, which is good for squinty old guys like me. Uh, but it's the nature of the screen resolution. And the tools on the desktop version are, you know, I mean, you can see it's the same tools. It's just painted a little differently. There's some minor variations, but it is really the same piece of software. And you can use it the same way. For example, if I go to the develop, um, it's, they don't call them modules. Oh, wait a minute, that's the iPad. I have to go on the iPad and change it. Duh. It's so bizarre when you can see both these things on the screen. So now I'm in develop. Now we're both in the same. Now here it is on the desktop develop. All right. I think I'm in develop. Okay, yep, we're in the develop. And I think I am. Am I not, perhaps? Oh, there we are, in develop. And let's say I want to make a little bit of a change here. Let's, uh, this is an undeveloped raw photograph. That's just the way I light. Oh, by the way, next Sunday, uh, July 16th, 2017, there is a workshop in Newtown Square in Pennsylvania. If you're interested or you're somewhere in the area or you're going to be in the area, come on down. We're going to learn how to light. We're going to spend a whole day lighting. There's only going to be uh, five photographers there. Uh, we're going to have two models. As a matter of fact, Nikki may be one of them. Uh, and uh, Teresa will be there. Um, so it's going to be a pretty awesome day. Okay. Uh, for details on that, uh, go to my website, or uh, which is listed all over the place here, williamkearns.com. Or you can also go to my Facebook page, William Kearns Photography, on Facebook. Yay! Alright, I'm excited about this. Okay. Here's some of the tools we have. Uh, let's just mess with the black point a little bit. Give her some deeper shadows. And then we will brighten the overall image. See your histogram over here? Very nice. A little contrast, no, a little less contrast. A little bit like that. 
a little more brightness I like the way brightness works here really looks more um, like a highlight here's our exposure up a little bit I'm not going to put any clarity uh, maybe a little vibrance just to bring that purple up back a little bit that's too much this is going to bloom on the video I apologize and we'll just do that for now so what if we do the same thing on the iPad I'm bringing the iPad up there we go I'm going to use these controls here and I'm going to match what I did over here so exposure 0.197 I added that and so let's just kick that uh, which way yeah that's not too far off call it two okay uh, black point six percent no I'm black point the other way there we go yeah it's my interpretation of black point and I did not push it the correct direction so that's on me but regardless the point here is that they do pretty much the same thing with the same set of controls on both the desktop and the iPad which is what I've been hunting for forever with Photoshop and they won't do it they give you a bunch of these little pieces of I don't know this shattered piece of program where you can do one or two operations and and a, and a whole crap load of software just to make the point uh, Affinity Photo is, of course, one item, but if I go to Adobe, look at these things. Sketch, Photoshop Express, Photoshop Mix, Photoshop Fix, uh, Capture, Draw. I mean, it's just, uh, it's Photoshop in a million pieces. I'm not crazy about that. But the Affinity Photo, however, I'm going to bring that up here somewhere. There we go is a complete Photoshop replacement pretty much uh, you even have and uh, you've even got uh, liquify though it's a bit different and I haven't quite figured it all out uh, no first thing you have there's a way you have to commit things I haven't quite figured that out yet but anyway let's go to liquify just for a, a demonstration and watch, we can liquefy McNicky here. McNicky, she's such a she's such a, she's such a fun, energetic spirit. Um, she's just one of those people you enjoy working with. We can make her hair a little bigger, just like you would with Photoshop. Give it a little volume. Uh, not that she needs it, but we can tuck this in a little bit here. Go to this. Just a terrible little bit. I still haven't found the apply button here, but oh well. You get the idea. Uh, it's just crazy awesome. So I'm excited about this. Now I'm going to have to do a little practice and poke around this a bit and. Uh, do some work with it and try and show you watch some of the tutorials that they provide they provide quite a few and really give this a good review to see if this is a real helpful workflow and how you can connect your portable device uh, with your desktop and what the raw uh, workflow would be because an iPad Pro can do uh, work with raw files so it should be pretty interesting okay uh, again I want to thank all our new subscribers I'm excited to see you here I told you about the workshop July 16th I'm excited if you could possibly get here to come and join me for a day we'll get to know each other for real and you will learn some cool stuff if you go back a couple of videos you'll see we did a behind the scenes of that shoot that day uh, and we were talking about the uh, uh, Dynalite, Dynalite Bajas which are really nice lights <coughs> and uh, you're going to enjoy yourself and have a good day. 
Okay, uh, boys and girls, I just want to remind you that even if you're on the right path, you're going to get run over if you just sit there. So, uh, have a good one, guys. See you later. Shall we begin?